is the uh, video about rearranging the uh, repeating group items in the list. So let's go back and let me uh, show you everything, like how I do it. So on the page, I have only these items. Um, a group to add new brands to the list and I have just a repeating group and I'll uh, go through every single thing and in the database I have brand data type and brand data type has the text like brand name and order number which is number so there is tiny catch here when you add an item like when you when you don't have anything in the database and you want to add the first item you have to define the order number right every time actually you create a new item you need to define the order number and that's how you do it like you can search for all brands then count it so all brands so do, do a search for brands count and plus one so that means if there is nothing in the database you will create the order number one uh, and other items second items order number will be two and so on and so forth so let's go back to this group, which is the main one. So what you have to do here is let me delete everything and let's get started from the brand new uh, repeating group. So in this repeating group, type is the brand and we're searching for the brand and uh, we sort by order number. All right. This being said, let me create the spacer or separator yeah so so that we see clearly what I'm doing here so uh, we have this repeating group it's uh, data source is defined so what's next next is you will go to um, well first of all you will have to install um, this plugin called draggable elements by bubble thank you bubble for for developing this so you will go to a drop area. So first of all, so there is like once you install that plugin, you've got like two new extra things. One is drag and drop group and another one is drop area. So drop area means where you can drop draggable elements. So let me um, add this in our repeating group. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it let's say a row and what I need to do is I will, I will make sure it doesn't have any limits so it's like full uh, full thing and it covers all the area and let's get rid of all this unnecessary stuff and also flat color we don't need color so well obviously it's up to the design that you are that you're gonna have right so I just prefer it to be like empty right now and just transparent so I have the drop area uh, tolerance means okay maybe I will not touch this stuff so that's yeah intersect and uh, we have to define the data source and the uh, type of content I'm sorry guys so type of content so now since we've got this the next one would be mm, getting the draggable area or draggable element so what I'm gonna do in here like from my experience I realize the best one is to do this and this and um, actually I'm not sure if it's cool but let's like this and um, yeah we'll have to define the um, type of content so it's gonna be brand data source will be parent groups brand and we like this is the number one thing you will you have to do make this element droppable and then instead of uh, behavior post drop you have to do move back so behavior post drop is like in case you didn't move it over the another droppable area it will just hide right so you don't want that like if you if you move the element somewhere else you want this item or element to go back uh, so we've got this and uh, 
let's do a background style flat color but let's do like this and uh, let's do roundness like this all right and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to include the text and text is going to be let's say dark like this and it's going to be parent group brands brand name right and what i'm going to do is i'll remove this i'll say remove name and i will mm, fit with the content boom boom and i just want this to be okay let's make this a row and this and then this all right so now i'm gonna remove the uh i'm gonna remove the separators from the appearance none and let's move this all down a bit yeah i think this is gonna be fine and what you will see now is that I'm almost there. I'm still not done, but I'm almost there. So I touch it, it hides, whatever. I don't know what, what happens. So I've made this a, make this element droppable, blah, blah, blah. Everything is cool. So now what I have to do is, um, I wanna create the, mm, I'm, I'm gonna have to create the workflow for this. So what I'm gonna do is, just so you understand, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna give, like whenever I move something over another item, okay, so let me make this first of all, let me fix this. Uh, what's wrong, what we got wrong here? Everything is fine in here. because of the workflow no okay what's wrong okay so you will have to do a main width so let's do it 343 at the moment so I'm gonna show you what happens if you don't do this so now so you see this is movable right so it moves it moves it moves okay so let's uh, so basically what happens is whenever you grab I think that's just because of the code how Bubble has created it. Like whenever you grab it, grab the item, right away the group goes to its main width. So I'm gonna show you. Like uh, I have a 343, right? So let's push it to 180. So you're gonna see how this is gonna change. See, it became like half of the size. I don't know why this happens. Actually, I know it's like how the code is written, and I'm not sure if this is the right action and if or this is considered a bug. But anyway, this is how it acts. So do not be afraid of this. Just you will have to uh, do the mean width. So and so so to fix it. But um, I mean sometimes like if if I didn't have this. Uh, how can I say if I didn't have a different color for this item I wouldn't even uh, realize this is changing you know so yeah maybe maybe you can use another group so you have a drop area then you have a drag area right like where or a drag element where everything is and then you have the text 
maybe if you put like this text in one more regular group and then it will have like mean width and all that and then you remove the color from this it might fix everything you know so um yeah anyway let's continue so my major idea in here is that when i move pepsi over microsoft i want pepsi to get the order number of microsoft and microsoft to get the order number of pepsi so instead of like so what i go to uh, a workflow and i do this elements a drop area has a group dropped on it and um, so first of all do not forget to uh, give it a type of thing it's crucial if you don't do this it's not going to work so it's sort of like data source for the just like data source works for the repeating group just like that type of things work for the drop area elements so if um so you will go there, you, you will go to actions, element actions, set state, and I want to set state for uh, for repeating group brands. And there are no uh, uh, custom states yet, so I'm going to create one. So order number one, so order number of the element one, uh, or, or a card one, whatever you will uh, call it, right? So that will be current cells brands order number right so the second I'm going to uh, create a another state which is going to be order number two that's going to be number as well but in this case it's not going to be like current sales brand but it's going to be current workflow brands order number so right now what I'm doing is whenever I bring Pepsi over Microsoft, I've already saved order number of Pepsi in the custom state and I've already saved the order number of Microsoft in the custom state. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just switch them. I'm going to switch the values. So make changes to a thing which is going to be current sales brand. So current sales brand should get the workflow brands order number. So that's going to be just like this rg brands so first one was current cell right so yeah so i'm gonna do o and two and then i'm gonna copy and paste this oh, sorry i'm gonna copy and paste this and it's gonna be order number one and instead of current cell it's gonna be current workflow brand so this is it Pepsi goes over Microsoft Microsoft goes to Pepsi Pepsi goes to Microsoft so just like that I hope this helped you guys um, let me know if there is anything else uh, you want to know um, so I can create the video about and please give me a follow at best bubble dev on Twitter it will help me grow my audience and uh, make more videos in the future thank you so much